everyone, Dark Side Phil here, and welcome to the Week in Preview for January 13th, 2013. I know that's bad that I have to look at the phone because I fucking forgot what day it was. Um, okay, so let's talk. This was a very, very eventful week uh, for myself, for my channels here on YouTube. And uh, basically what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to recap the events of this past week, and I'm also going to preview what I'll be working on this coming week because there actually were some changes to my schedule, to actually the way I'm going to be doing things, and we definitely need to discuss them, okay? So, this past week was the first week where all of the changes of the new year were fully in effect for my channels. Now, what do you mean by changes for the new year? Well, first of all, I no longer post these vlog-style videos on DSP Gaming at all, okay? These vlog-style videos are always going to be right here on the King of Hate Vlogs. This is my new destination for this kind of stuff, and it was kind of growing pains trying to, trying to convince everyone on the DSP uh, gaming channel to come over here and watch these videos. And case in point, the Week in Preview last week hasn't even gotten 10,000 views. Now, when the Week in Preview was here, on, or not here, but was over there on DSP Gaming, it was getting anywhere from between 10 to 15,000. Sometimes, if it was a week when there were a lot of games that people wanted to hear about, if I was going to be playing them, it would be 20,000 views. So, literally, I'm taking almost a 50% view cut because I moved over here, and I really would encourage everyone to please spread the word that yet if you want to be in the know, you have to be here at the King of Hate Vlogs to be in the know on all this stuff. Remember, I made this change for you, because I was getting so many complaints, and my viewership was dwindling on the, the vlog style videos over on DSP Gaming. The people said, you're uploading too much, and because you're uploading so many videos on this channel, we're missing out on the valuable vlogs that we need to be in the know. So I separated them, made their own channel for them. I'm even taking a pay cut on this channel. I make less money on videos on this channel than I do on DSP Gaming, just to make it easier for you so you could subscribe and follow. So it's funny because right now I have almost 19,000 subscribers, but I'm only getting 10,000 views per video. Obviously, that means half the people here aren't watching the videos. So please, I urge you, watch the weekly videos here, like the, you know, the week in preview. So, just this past week, here on the King of Hate Vlogs, I uploaded a week in preview, I uploaded a Ask the King, a three-part Ask the King, which I feel there's some really good questions saved up, because I hadn't done one since October. If you don't know what that is, it's my fan mail series where I answered your questions. So definitely check that out if you haven't yet. I uploaded some Ark Guys, uh, the new episode is live here. And I also uploaded a huge video, a video that got huge views. We're going to talk a little bit about that. It was my huge announcement video. For several months, it was about a month and a half now, I've been talking a little bit about, unfortunately, some negative stuff that had happened, and it may change the future of my YouTube career. Uh, I finally had concrete info for everyone this past Friday, and I uploaded a video here to the King of Hate Vlogs. If you haven't checked it out, definitely do, but I get the feeling most people have based off the views on the video, okay? So I'm going to summarize very quickly what I said in the video. Basically, it's this. This year's going to be a little bit tougher for me because I unfortunately had to take a pay cut, and this pay cut basically makes it so that I can't have bad weeks, dead weeks, weeks where I'm doing filler games and no one really cares and I'm barely getting any views on them. I basically need to get at least decent views on everything I do. And so what I've decided to do is institute some changes that I think are positive changes that are going to attract viewers back to DSP Gaming to watch my playthroughs and entertain them even more than, than usual. And here's what the changes are. Number one, Everyone has been granted amnesty who has ever been blocked from DSP Gaming. They are all unblocked, and you can now go over there and feel free to comment. Number two, I am no longer policing the comments on my videos. So, you're going to probably see some nasty shit, just to warn everyone, but I basically decided it's not worth it to police it, especially because of the negative association that I've gotten over the past several years when I did police my videos. People saying that I'm too much of a censor and I'm too sensitive. So that's it. It's basically open season. Anyone can comment on my videos if they want, and that's a major change. And I've already seen positive results from that. People come back and said, I've been banned from your channel for a year, and, you know, it was something stupid that happened, and I'm back, and I'm resubbing to you. And that's a great feeling to know that people are basically giving me the benefit of the doubt and saying, okay, Phil, even Steven, we're, everything's cool, we'll start from scratch, okay? 
The next change is that I'm starting a brand new series to actually launch today called Retro Replay. And what this is, is a series where I've actually in the past day, I've thought about it a little bit more. So here's the bottom line of what exactly it is. It's a series where I am going to play on YouTube games that I've played previously, but in two different situations. Number one, maybe I didn't do a playthrough on YouTube or a full playthrough. Maybe it was something like what I'm doing right now as I started today, Dead Space, where this was one of the original games I ever made videos for for YouTube, but I didn't do a full playthrough and it wasn't in HD and it wasn't as professional as I do it now. So it's going to be games like that. Plus, it's going to be games that I've already played, but didn't do any video footage for YouTube. So we're talking games like Metal Gear Solid 4, Grand Theft Auto 4, Uncharted 1, some of these biggest games that people have wished that they could have seen me play, and I never did, because those were games that I played before I ever was making videos for YouTube, okay? So this is my new series. It officially launched today. I do things a little bit differently with it. I actually make custom thumbnails for this series. I actually title the, the, the videos differently to try to help you follow along and find the video that you're looking for. So instead of just saying, play through part 20, it'll say, the game part 20, chapter 3, part 5. So that way you know, oh, this is the fifth part of chapter 3. That's where I left off, and you can go check that out. So already I'm getting overwhelmingly positive feedback. I just want to let everyone know I will not, I will not be doing the custom thumbnails for every single series. It's only going to be for retro replay right now, okay? For the regular game playthroughs for new games, I'm probably just going to use the default YouTube uh, thumbnails as I always have. Okay, so that was the big announcement on Friday and I was expecting that maybe I would get 40,000 views on the video maybe 50,000 because I said gee I wonder you know I'm sure people will be very interested even people who hate me are going to want to know what really happened to me because I had said it basically my YouTube career was on the line and it really was um, and in one day, YouTube now says that that video has gotten 118,000 views. Now, here's the thing. I was ecstatic, but then I found out a lot of people are saying it seems that for the past day and a half, YouTube has a bug where everyone's videos are getting extra views. And it's not clear what's causing this bug. It's not clear if maybe it's not a bug. Maybe it's literally there was a bug that was screwing up views, and now views will be corrected no one knows what's going on but all I can say is that was crazy that I got that many views and then in addition that uh, we're gonna talk about the, the gaming play that, that I did this week I got some big viewing boosts on Friday for the gameplay that I uploaded and that was kinda crazy too and unexpected so we're gonna talk a little bit more about that when I get to the gameplay but I'm I don't know what's going on right now with YouTube right now views are real way up and I don't know if this is a direct result of my announcement video and that I'm changing things up and you know people are happy that I've given them comment amnesty and that I'm doing new series or if it really is a YouTube bug. I guess we're going to find out in the next several days and or weeks if YouTube audits views and ends up taking views away from videos which they've done before. Ugh. Okay so that's what's happened on the King of Hate vlogs in the past week but on my DSP Gaming channel, we had several different playthroughs. We had a playthrough of Sly 3, the HD remake of that game, because people were telling me I really needed to play that game before I play Sly 4 next month, plot-wise and such, and so I did, and there's a full playthrough of that up on DSP Gaming. I also played Anarchy Reigns, which was the new retail release for the Wii. Now, the bottom line is, Anarchy Reigns is a year-old game, okay? The game came out a year ago in Japan and, and in other parts of the world, so a lot, a lot of people were looking for footage of it, the views weren't that hot. That was okay with me, but the point was I can't have weeks where the views kind of suck like that. I need to, to always be putting out footage that people are interested in, which is why I instituted this new series of Retro Replay, okay? All right. Then, after Anarchy Reigns, I played the two campaigns. I also did some multiplayer, so that was uploaded. And then on Friday, both John Rambo and our friend Joe came over, and we did three-player co-op commentary on the Family Guy video game. And... Again, the reason why I'm really curious about YouTube views and if they're accurate right now is actually because that playthrough got huge views compared to other playthroughs. And I'm wondering, is it because it's co-op and people really liked it? Because the, the comments, there's actually a lot of comments on the video saying, yeah, this is a great playthrough and we, we enjoyed watching for the commentary and for the content. But I don't know if the views are correct or not. And I guess we're going to find out in the next couple of days. Hold on one second because I'm actually currently uploading my Dead Space playthrough. And one thing that I learned today the hard way is, unfortunately, when you are doing custom thumbnails, 
on YouTube, you cannot set them up ahead of time. You actually have to wait for the actual video, okay, to be uploading in order to pick the custom thumbnail. And if you don't do that while it's uploading before it becomes live on YouTube, it actually will take hours and hours for the custom thumbnail to show up. So that's why if any of you were watching my Dead Space playthrough live and you noticed, gee, why is it that parts 1, 2, and 3 all had thumbnails, 4, 5, 6, and 7 didn't, and then, you know, 9 did, it's because I actually went out to dinner, wasn't able to save those custom thumbnails when those videos uploaded, and when I came back, I did associate those custom thumbnails with the videos, but it takes YouTube hours and hours to fucking fix it because it's a slow piece of shit. So that's what's going on with that. Now, today, like I said, I started my first retro replay. So far... From what I'm seeing on the videos, people are saying the playthrough's great. Thank you for that. This is what I mean. I want to get back into doing playthroughs that aren't necessarily all about trying to think of a, a, a joke that I can crack and interrupt the atmosphere or anything. And keep in mind, this is Dead Space. This isn't a game that's like way open to hilarious jokes or anything. And I will interject every once in a while if I can think of something funny, because that's my personality, but I'm not going to be doing that the whole time. I really think that just playing the games the way I used to, play it, enjoy it, and share that experience with you guys that you're going to like it. And so far, the feedback is overwhelmingly positive that people are saying the playthrough is great. So thank you for that. Fingers crossed people like it. Fingers crossed the new series is a success. It gets big views. And we're great. You know what I mean? Now, let's talk about the week coming up. Because as a direct result of the changes, I actually decided to change my schedule. Okay? So what I can tell you is this. Monday... On DSP Gaming, you will absolutely see more Dead Space. Retro Replay will continue. And I also hope that you guys like the amount of videos that I'm uploading in a day. I've reduced the amount of videos I'm uploading so that you guys can catch up with stuff. And today, which was really the first day of Retro Replay, I uploaded 18 videos, which is about 3 hours. So I figure if I can upload maybe around 12, 2 to 3 hours, 12 to 18 videos a day... It's a lot easier for you guys to be in the know and to be caught up and to watch all the parts rather than me uploading 40, 50 parts a day and now it's like, fuck, Phil just beat a game in, in, in two days that it's going to take me a week to watch and I'm going to be behind on everything else. That's, an, that's what I'm trying to, to fix, okay? So please give me feedback and let me know if you like that amount of videos a day. I think that's a good level to start at, okay? Tuesday, Devil May Cry is released here in the United States, and I will be trying that out on Tuesday, which means you're going to see a release day unboxing video of Devil May Cry over on the King of Hate Vlogs, or I should say right here on the King of Hate Vlogs. You're going to see the gameplay of Devil May Cry over on DSP Gaming, okay? And I will not be doing custom thumbnails. I don't know if I'll be able to title the videos as I'm doing in Dead Space, because I don't know if the game's even based on chapters. If it is, it's easy to do. I'll try to do it. But if it's not easily split up, it's going to be more difficult for me to do it, and I apologize to you guys if I can't make it easier for you to figure out. Um, but it's going to be a standard playthrough. What that means is I'm going to be playing the game for several hours uh, on Tuesday. Now, I'm not going to make a promise and say, oh, I am actually going to be playing 12 videos or 18 videos. It's I'm not going to be uploading as many videos as I usually do. Or I don't want to say usually because I'm changing usually how I used to. I may upload two to three hours of footage on Tuesday, okay? And then I may upload two to three hours of footage on Wednesday. And then we'll see how far we are into the game and so on and so forth. So over the course of this week, you're going to see Devil May Cry gameplay on DSP Gaming. I may or may not, depending on what the fans want, I may or may not hold off from Devil May Cry one day. Like, if I play, say I play for two days straight, I'm like, alright, it's good, but it's getting a little tired. Maybe I should variate, so maybe one day I'll go back to Dead Space. Or, maybe later on in the week, I'll start splitting the week and, and do half the day Devil May Cry, half the day Dead Space. I could do that. So that's my idea for this week, is to try not to give you overload on anything, but give you enough videos to digest daily that you're entertained and satisfied, okay? In addition to all this gameplay going on this week, I am also going to try to do vlog-style videos. So on Monday, while I'm doing Dead Space videos on DSP Gaming, I am actually going to do the Hateful Truth review of Anarchy Reigns here on the King of Hate Vlogs. Another day during this week, I'm going to attempt, it won't be Tuesday because I'm already doing release day unboxing, but maybe Wednesday or maybe Thursday, maybe later on in the week, I'm going to attempt to do the Hateful Truth review of Family Guy here on the King of Hate Vlogs. And the difference is going to be, I'm decided I am actually going to edit the videos to the point where there will be video game footage in them. 
That is right, you will actually see clips of the video games that I'm reviewing in my review, which is what I know everyone else does, and I haven't done for a couple years. It's coming back. So, right away, another big change. I think people will like it. The Hateful Truth is now a video review again. It's not just me sitting here talking. You're going to see clips of the game that are pertinent to what I'm saying, okay? So you're going to see both those reviews on the King of Hate vlogs this week. Um, later this week, I may try to maybe do a DSP Tries It. I have a couple things around here that I think you'd be very interested in knowing how well they work uh, because some of them I was very surprised. I actually have two Xbox 360 controllers, both of which are wired controllers. They're special edition that you buy at the store. It's not like the regular Microsoft controller. Two different brands, one of which I used for several months and liked it until unfortunately something happened that everyone I think needs to know about. Another one I've been using for about a week now, and I'm going to continue to use it so I have more information for you for the review. So I have that stuff that I may do an episode of DSP Tries It this week. In addition, I may do an iPad app review this week, but those are going to be different from the hateful truth. Because I really feel that iPad apps aren't necessarily full games. You know what I mean? It's a mobile game. It's meant to be something that you just pick up and you play. So I'm actually going to try to think of a name for the iPad series this week, and I may do a video of one or two or maybe more, I don't know, I'm only trying to put out one vlog video daily, but I'm going to have possibly one of those videos here on the King of Hate Vlogs this week as well. Now also this week, John Rambo is going to be here on Saturday, the, the Saturday the regular day, to be here for Smart Guys, which will be our wrestling commentary show here on DSP Gaming, I mean, I am sorry, here on the King of Hate Vlogs, and for co-op gameplay over on DSP Gaming. This week, we have not decided what we're going to do for gameplay, okay? And the reason we haven't decided <clears throat> is because we don't know. It's a filler week, basically. Next week, the week, you know, the week after this week, we're going to have the Royal Rumble coming up. So we have pay-per-view sims and things we can do. Um, the week after that, I believe, is Dead Space 3, and we're going to probably do a co-op playthrough of that. But we're not sure what to do this weekend. We're thinking of ideas, and we're going to come up with something... And if I, I may let you know a little bit earlier if I know. If not, it might just be surprise gameplay that we do on Saturday, okay? Um, but that's coming up. And then, basically, at the end of the week, when you're talking Sunday, Monday, before next week's uh, new release, we are going to be doing more retro replay of Dead Space until I beat it and Devil May Cry until I beat it, okay? So the week is going to be primarily Dead Space, Devil May Cry. You're going to have some variation mixed in there with some game reviews, some other vlo style vlogs, maybe a DSP tries it, maybe an app review. Smart guys, co-op gameplay. It's going to be a fun week full of content, but not content overload. You're going to have no more than one vlog a day, and you're going to have basically maybe two to three hours of gameplay a day that you can watch, okay? So I really think these are positive changes that I'm making, and I'm hoping that this year, and especially you know this week, which is the first major week I'm doing it, that these are going to be changes that you like. Now, the one last thing that I want to talk about is the future of Retro Replay because now that people kind of have a grasp on what it is and how it's going to be done, I already have an idea of the next game I'm going to play and this is, I've already decided, this is one that I wanted to play on YouTube for quite some time but did not and it was for certain reasons. Now I think I'm really fine in regards to it. It's a game everyone wants to see it's a game that you, I think, will love to play through because I loved the game and being able to play the game again, I think, is going to be a great experience. My next retro replay... I just fired it. I'm not going <laughs> to... I was so excited that I pointed at the camera and I farted when I was about to announce what it is. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, okay? I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but I'm definitely I'm telling you it's something everyone's going to want to see. Now, here's the thing. Once I start the next Retro Replay, then I will create a poll on my forums with several selections of games that I would like to play from the past, and everyone can vote on which ones it's going to be. Now, I want everyone to understand, not every one of the selections that you might want might not be there. Everyone's saying Dark Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls. I don't know. I'm pondering it in my head, but I don't know if it would ever be worth it for me to go back to Dark Souls, because it's a game I really didn't enjoy. It's not that the game was too difficult for me. The difficulty made the game not fun for me. And so for me to go back and to play a game that's not fun for me, and plus, I don't know if I would beat it. You know what I mean? I don't know if I, would, I may quit again. And I don't think people want to see me quit again. So games like that, they'll be maybe in contention, but I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to play them. I will let everyone know, obviously through either a vlog or Twitter or Facebook and everything, when the poll will be open. But here's the question I pose to you right now. By the way, hold on because I have to check to see if I have to put another custom thumbnail up, and I think I do. Yes, I do. Hold on one second. Sorry, everyone. 
My question to you is this. Retro Replay is a new series that it's not like it's not like my regular playthrough series where if there's a new game, the week that the game comes out, I, I want to beat it. I have to beat it because I want to be able to beat it and review it. Okay? But Retro Replay doesn't have to be like that. Okay? And what I'm trying to say is I don't even necessarily only have to play one Retro Replay game a week. Right now I'm playing Dead Space. I'm going to play it tomorrow as well. Like I said, I'm going to start Devil May Cry on Tuesday. So there's a possibility that later on in the week, maybe I'll be getting tired of Devil May Cry and I'll play a little bit of Bull. But what I'm also saying is the next retro replay game that I'm going to play is also one I think everyone's going to want to see and I want to do it. So would people be opposed to me treating normal new games like I usually do? I play the hell out of them, you know, the release week and try to beat them. But retro replay is more of an ongoing series where maybe once a week or a couple times a week I play each game. So maybe this week I play Dead Space three days, but if I haven't beaten it yet, I put it on hold so I can start another retro replay game that I'll play for a couple days, and then maybe I'll split days, you know what I mean? I think this is what a lot of other gaming YouTubers do, and some people like that, and some people don't, and I fully understand that. If it's a game that, you know, it's a new game, you really want to see the whole thing. But these games that I'm playing for Retro Replay are older games. I don't think there's a reason that I necessarily have to rush through them start to finish, you know, in a week. Uh, maybe I could split them up and I could be doing Retro Replay of Dead Space and Retro Replay of something else on another day. And eventually the games will complete and we can do it that way. What does everyone think of that? So please leave feedback on this video. If you want to tweet on Twitter, Facebook, leave me messages. Let me know what you think of that idea. Retro Replay is an ongoing series. That's not a series that I'm just trying to desperately beat a game in a couple days, but it's something ongoing, and that would be refreshing for you, too, because it's not, oh, for four fucking days straight, it's Dead Space. No, you'll see Dead Space, then Devil May Cry, then maybe a little bit of Bolt, then maybe a new game in there, and then in a couple days, maybe you want to go back to Dead Space. Well, then Dead Space will continue. I think that's a good idea, but I want to get the fans' feedback, so please leave me your feedback, and we'll see what you think about that. Okay, so that's it for a very lengthy week in preview, but a lot of information was covered. Thank you so much to everyone who supported me, and who now, with these new changes, with this new feeling of renewal of this year, and the changes that I'm making, I hope that you like them, and I hope that you understand now that I am really serious about changing. Um, and it has to be done because, you know, I want my entertainment, my content to remain entertaining and not become stagnant. And I really feel that's what it had done in this past year. And the other cool thing is, if I'm playing different games at the same time, it's not like I'm playing the same game for three days in a row. I, sometimes I get burnt out or I get bored because I'm doing that. If I took my time to play it more slowly, then maybe I'd be more refreshed every time I played the game and I'd be more excited to play it. And maybe... For example, the Grand Theft Auto Marathon that I did in 2012, people loved it, but a lot of people could tell I was getting burnt out of the, uh, with those games, playing them all back-to-back -back like I did. Instead, with Retro Replay, I can stretch these series out over a, a longer period of time. Maybe I won't get as burnt out. So, please leave me your feedback. Thank you to everyone who's supporting me. Staying positive. Let's attack this week and get some entertaining gameplay out there. And let's do it this week. So thanks a lot, everyone, for watching the Week in Preview. I will see you for new gameplay and new vlogs. Peace out.